Thank you. Good Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Uh, Carol Beaumont. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, nobody can deny the seriousness of the, the food safety uh, situation that New Zealand finds itself in, and I do want to acknowledge that. I also want to acknowledge another very serious matter, a matter of vital concern to New Zealanders, and that's the need for decent jobs and decent incomes, something that this government ignores. This is a government that is out of touch and a Prime Minister deeply bogged down in covering his tracks again, this time on the Dunn email scandal and the GCSB debacle, uh, something that New Zealander of the Year and Salmon has been quite vocal about and describes as a massive breach of trust between Parliament and its citizens. Today we have seen unemployment increase, up from 6.2 per cent last quarter to 6.4 per cent today. That is 48,000 more people are unemployed now than when National took office in 2008. And in total, 153,000, that's right, 153,000 New Zealanders are unemployed. And almost daily, we hear of more job losses, significant job losses all around New Zealand. But jobs and decent incomes are, in fact, the only way forward for New Zealanders. As others have said, New Zealanders are built and, and can, are committed to the idea of working hard to get ahead for opportunity for their family, for a fair day's work, for a fair day's pay. These are basic New Zealand principles. Jobs are the way that most New Zealanders sustain a decent standard of living for themselves and their family. It's a way for them to contribute their ideas and their labour to grow our economy and to participate in our community. But our Prime Minister is more focused on denying responsibility for anything negative. He constantly is blaming somebody else, blaming Labor. But in fact, you have been in government for five years, so take responsibility. Prime Minister, take responsibility, and the government as a whole needs to take responsibility. No longer can you continue to blame the last government or the global financial crisis. You need to take responsibility and focus on the real issues, the issues of jobs and incomes. But let's look, let's look more closely at what is happening to jobs and income, shall we? 153,000 people unemployed. A total of 245,400 people jobless. Another 69,000, 63,000, sorry, wanting extra hours of work. And it's a very tough time to be looking for work. Māori unemployment is at 12.8 per cent, and actually that's a slight reduction, so that's good news. But Pacifica unemployment has increased to 16.3 per cent, and um, Piseta Sam Lotoinga earlier today was busy crowing about the number of jobs that are on online vacancies. Well, I don't think that's going to deal with the 16.3 per cent of Pacific people who are unemployed. And what about wages? Well, wages are only up by 1.7 per cent, and the median for those who actually got one, and this is the key, the median for those who got a pay increase was 2.7 per cent, the lowest increase since 2001. But in the last year, 45 per cent of employees received no pay increase at all. At the same time, prices were skyrocketing, power prices up, accommodation prices up and 45 per cent of workers got no pay increase. So let's get a, rene a renewed focus on decent jobs for workers. It is no good sowing. It is no good saying that the economy is picking up if that benefit is not flowing through to wages and jobs. And our wages remain 34 per cent lower than Australia, and yet we have a government introducing legislation that will drive wages down further. The Employment Relations Act will drive wages down even further. So we need to do more. We need to do more to focus on growing jobs. The government needs to take responsibility, but we don't believe you will. It's going to take a Labor government to get a focus on jobs, on putting a really hands-on approach to job creation, to invest in lifelong learning and upskilling. Members opposite, your government promised in 2011 it would create 170 jobs by 2015. 
170 jobs by 2015. Well, so far, that's 17,000. So you've got a long way to go. A long way to go. So where are the jobs, Mr. Yep. Key? Go, McAlvey. Mr. Speaker. Ian McKelvey.